I can't believe he went out and got a new bike. It looks sick though. I really expected to rock up on a frog sand. He was saying at work, like, <laughs> that he's got a surprise going. I did not expect him to get a new bike. I know he looked at this one, but I did not expect him to get it. But it does look nice, I'll give him that. Son, what the f happened there? This, uh, you know, rides a bit slow and maybe not that entertaining. Um, uh, I think he's riding slow because he's trying to get, you know, he's getting used to the bike. God, this is bumpy. It's proper uh, eating away at my uh, genitalia area. Ugh. Absolutely love this bike. On my first motor vlog, when I, um, you know, that lengthy video of 17 minutes, there's actually so much more to put in there if the GoPro hadn't died. Like, I rode for quite a long while, and had, I talked about quite a lot. Like I spoke about how, um, like how I went about buying the bike and everything like that. 
I did think it was probably would have made it a bit too long and maybe you guys didn't really want to know about that but I can't stress how much I love this bike and I can't stress how much I love the feeling of riding a motorbike it just puts a smile on your face all the time like all the time no matter what you, you don't even have to be going fast I could just be plodding along at this speed and it still puts a smile on my face and I think just something being out and about like exposed to the elements it just gives you a really good feeling it's, it's a feeling that you can't beat for being in a car unless obviously you're like a proper petrol head for driving cars obviously there are people out there who love driving cars like use it as a hobby just like I do with riding a motorcycle but if you're umming and ahhing about doing your tests and stuff like that at least do your CBT and get so you understand the feel of what it's like to ride a motorbike when I done my CBT the smile I had on my face after I'd done it, it was uh, amazing. And I couldn't wait to go out and get a 125. And then after the 125, I couldn't wait to do my big test. I waited until I was 24, I didn't turn 24. Done my big test, like uh, big bike test five months later, I could do the direct access to get a full A license to ride any bike. And then the next few months after that were killers. <laughs> Having a full license only riding a 125. I felt like I'd probably reached my minute limit with the 125 on how I could ride. I felt like the next step up was to get a 600. And getting a Super Sport, so getting the R6, felt like such a you know, a good a good idea. A lot of people say it was a bad idea because, you know, it's, it is a powerful machine and it can, you know, in the, if you ride it wrong, you can extremely badly hurt yourself, like really badly hurt yourself. Um, but I thought there's so much to learn with riding a super sport that it will keep me riding it for years and I'll always be learning. Every day I go on out, I'm always learning. I'm still learning to slow ride on it. I'm learning to corner on it better and learning to, you know, control the pull on it. Like when, when you twist that throttle in low gear, when them revs get high, it pulls you off the bike. No word of a lie, it literally is trying to pull me off the back of it. And that change gear, so in, in first gear, you get up to like 14,000 revs and you try, you go to change gear. That changing gear, I'm still learning how to change that smoothly because I still get a bit of a jolt because I'm not changing the gear fast enough, I don't think. But yeah, I cannot stress, if you're thinking about doing your bikes, do it and get a bike. You would, you would love the feeling. Just. Be sensible with it. You know, I've had an accident and I felt it wasn't my fault. And you know, it just shows it can happen regardless if you're riding like an idiot. And like, why would you want to up the risk of if you ride like an idiot and don't pay attention to what's going on around you, have no awareness and no respect for other road users? You're just increasing that statistic of you having an accident. And why would you want to do that? At the end of the day, you're always going to come off worse off than anyone you hit. Any vehicle you hit, you hit a car or anything, you're always going to come off worse. And uh, I don't think people fully understand that.